Well, this week, Charlotte City Council is setting its goals for 2020. It's a very important discussion that sets up how council approaches the city's biggest challenges and how it spends your tax dollars. Channel 9's Joe Bruno is live from Durham where they're holding their annual retreat. Joe. Erica, let me show you around here. We got some clay on this table, a bunch of colorful markers over here to my left. Behind me, you see some giant white poster boards and some post-it notes. You might be picking up these major art classroom vibes right now, but this is the ballroom where the Charlotte City Council retreat is taking place. And this is where leaders focused on economic development, affordable housing, and the other priorities they want to tackle this year. Using poster boards and post-it notes, Charlotte City Council spent the afternoon outlining their goals for 2020. We are trying to build the fly the plane while it's being remodeled and built. On the mind of many council members is last year's surge in violent crime. Councilman Tark Bakari says council has to take a data-based approach and work with leaders on the state, federal, and local level to address it. That's what we have to figure out. What are we doing differently there? And I think we're finding out that a lot of this uh, isn't all in our control. City Manager Marcus Jones has previously said there will be an additional $50 million affordable housing bond on the ballot in 2020. Mayor Vi Lyles is challenging leaders to transition from a rental-based affordable approach to home ownership. One way council could do that is by buying undeveloped land to preserve it for single-family homes. We're building a lot of apartments. Uh, we clearly understand that um, families gain wealth through home ownership. Council member Victoria Watlington says this strategy of land banking would help protect against gentrification. Those are the kinds of things that when you own your home and you own your property, you've got much more of an impact in being able to uh, decide how things are going to go versus if you're renting, you're obviously at the mercy of the owner. Charlotte is a very friendly place to do business, and today Charlotte City Council members heard from a senior economist from Wells Fargo who encouraged leaders to go out into New Jersey and Connecticut and take their companies and bring them here to the Queen City. Erica. All right, our Joe Bruno reporting live for us from Durham. Thank you, Joe. And for you at home, you can watch more of Joe's reports from City Council's retreat through Wednesday.